Hi, everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another, another amazing recipe. I'm going to show you all how to make a stuffed and loaded lobster tail. I came up with this recipe, and I am so excited to be able to show you all how I make stuffed and loaded lobster tail. It's easy. It does not require a lot of ingredients. We're going to have some fun in this kitchen, and listen here, it tastes so good. Here's what you're going to need to make Gina Young style stuffed and loaded lobster tails. You all never had this before. You better make yourself. You, you better make yourself. Okay, everyone, let's show you all what you're going to need for this recipe. You will need bacon. If you are not a fan of pork bacon, by all means, you can use, feel free to use turkey bacon. If you wanted to use a beef bacon, that would be fine as well. All right, so then we have two nice, beautiful lobster tails. And then I have two whole garlic cloves that we're going to need as well. Okay, you can see over here that I have chives. Feel free to use, you can use chives or you can use green onions, whichever would be just fine. I have some beautiful finely shredded sharp cheddar cheese. And we have some Kerrygold Irish butter. I have some heavy whipping cream, okay? You don't have to use heavy whipping cream. You can use regular milk if you like. We have some sour cream. I'm going to grab my parsley flakes as well. Uh, Mrs. Dash, and that's the original blend for Mrs. Dash. We have Old Bay seasoning, red pepper chili flakes, cracked black pepper, and sea salt. Okay, and over here I have some beautiful Yukon Gold potatoes that I have washed. Make sure you always wash off your produce. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean and let's get started with this amazing recipe. So, first thing that I want to do is I want to move my lobster tails just for a second and I want to cut my potatoes because what we need to do is we need to boil these potatoes. I'm not gonna take the skin off. When I use red potatoes and Yukon Gold potatoes, I don't always cut the skin off, okay? Because the skin is so thin and it really doesn't bother me, okay? So we're just gonna slice it just however, okay? You wanna rinse them off in cold water. I've already washed them, but I like to rinse them uh, because I like to rinse some of the starch off, okay? so that I don't have really, really starchy potatoes. I just wanna chop them down just like so, and I wanna get them into cold, salted water so that we can boil these for around about 20 minutes, okay? And I'll show you what we're gonna do with these potatoes. This recipe is so interesting. It's a lot of fun. I made it for my family, and I blew everyone's mind with this recipe. And I hope that you all will make this for your family and let me know what your family thinks. This recipe is a lot of fun. I hope that you all are having a beautiful work week. I hope that you all had a great day as well. I'm not gonna use this extra one here. I really don't need it, okay? So now I'm gonna give these a nice rinse in my colander with cold water, and then I'm gonna put them in a pan of cold water with salt in it. Okay, everyone, I just want to rinse my potatoes once again under nice cold water to get some of the starch off of the potatoes. And into the pan we go, always starting with cold water to boil your potatoes. We're gonna cook them for around about 20 minutes. Make sure you, that you salt your water ahead of time. Potatoes going right in to our pan. You can cover it with the lid if you like, but you don't have to, okay? It's really up to your discretion if you wanna use a lid or not. Okay, and we're gonna cook these until they're nice and pork tender. And what pork tender is, is when you wanna push your pork into one of the potatoes, and if your potato slides off nice and easy with no problem, your potatoes are done. Okay, everyone, our potatoes are on. Now, believe it or not, the potatoes 
are the hardest part of this recipe. Absolutely it is, and that didn't take us any time, right? So now I'm gonna open up my beautiful bacon. I happen to love Oscar Mayer bacon, and I love Sugardale bacon. Those are my two favorite bacons. And I like to use the thick cut. Like I said, you feel free to use any type of bacon that you would love to use, okay? So I'm gonna need enough for two beautiful lobster tails. We're gonna fry this up until it gets nice and crispy. You all know what nice and crispy looks like. And then when it's done, you're gonna crumble it up or you're gonna chop it up, okay? So I'm gonna use four pieces and then I'm gonna make an extra piece for myself because I can never, ever, never make bacon without stealing a piece out of the pan for myself. <laughs> Okay, I'm just washing my hands. Anytime you are touching raw meats, you always wanna wash your hands so that you don't transfer bacteria to any of your spices or anything else that you're getting ready to cook or touch. So this is going on to the stove, medium high heat, get it nice and golden brown. And then, the next thing that we're gonna do Let's make our way over to this garlic, okay? And I wanna show you all a nice trick. Only thing that I'm gonna do is I want to hit the garlic, just like that. Give it another whack, just like so, okay? I'm not gonna chop this garlic. I'm not gonna chop this garlic. All I'm gonna do is give it a nice whack and you see how it kind of falls apart a little bit? We're gonna do that, and I'm gonna put this into our potatoes. I want for my potatoes to turn into Yukon Gold garlic potatoes, okay? And we're gonna mash our potatoes, and we're gonna put beautiful heavy whipping cream, salt and pepper, and that beautiful Kerrygold Irish butter into our potatoes. Put this in there and boil it the whole time with your potatoes, all right? And when you mash up, your potatoes, you keep that garlic in there. You never take it out and you mash it along with those beautiful potatoes and you'll have some of the most beautiful garlic flavored mashed potatoes. Okay, so then second, you're gonna need kitchen shears, okay? I highly suggest using kitchen shears. Make sure you even rinse your seafood off once you bring it home, okay? We're gonna cut, this is the bottom, this is the top. We're gonna to cut right down the middle, okay? Not cutting into the meat. Don't, don't cut down into the meat, guys. And don't go too far into the tail, okay? You wanna kinda of stop around about, let's see, around about there, okay? Now, easily you'll be able to open this bad boy up, okay? Just using your, um, your fingers, and then you can slide your finger between the shell and the beautiful meat, okay? And all we're gonna do is we're gonna pop that, see how my finger is going between the meat and the shell? We just wanna release that meat from the shell just like so, okay? Very easy, nothing's hard about this, okay? See that, my finger's going in there just like so, okay? And we're gonna pull our meat out of the shell, okay? and just pop it out and set it on top of the shell, all right? And if there's a vein, sometimes there's a vein right here, what you're gonna do is just peel that vein out just like so. I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, so let me show you what your lobster tails should look like. It was very easy to pop that beautiful meat out of the shell. And like I said, there's a little vein that starts here just pull it out and it's real simple, okay? So that's what you're left with. How you are able to put the meat on top and it stays on top is you just kind of squeeze the shell and put the meat on top and it stays that way. So you wanna bake it this way. Let's go ahead and season it. Cracked black pepper, oh yeah, just like so. I like to put a nice amount on it. You want flavor. If you're that person that's afraid, 
And you don't have to use this red chili peppers flakes. I'm just gonna use a little bit, just enough to tickle the back of the throat, not enough to burn anybody's pants off, okay? I'm not trying to burn anybody up today. Just a little bit of heat, all right? If you're that person that's afraid to season, your food will have no taste. You don't wanna do that. Don't be afraid to season. We're gonna put some sea salt on, just like so. Oh yeah. Believe me, the seafood needs seasoning. It's going to taste much better once you season it. Go in with some nice, beautiful Old Bay seasoning. Oh, if you have the crab boil oil, you can use that as well. Mm. See that right there? I even season up the shell. Get it nice and seasoned. We're going to use Mrs. Dash. Mrs. Dash has an abundance of different type of um, seasonings and flavors in here. And I absolutely adore it. And it's salt free, so why not use it? Okay? It's gonna give you a nice, vibrant, vibrant beautiful color as well. Just like so. Oh yeah, baby. Mm-hmm. Get in my belly. Woo-wee! All right, and then we're gonna put some parsley flakes. You have to use parsley flakes. It's not gonna give you flavor, but it's gonna give you a nice, beautiful color every time, no matter what you put this on, okay? Just like so. Then we're going to take our beautiful, beautiful, and I like to spread the tail out for a nice, beautiful presentation. Beautiful lobster tails, just like so. Nice and seasoned. Take the time to season them. All right. These are going to go into our oven. 350 degrees. And when these are done cooking, I'm going to let you know exactly how long mine's took to cook. Because the last thing that you want to do is overcook your seafood. It will be horrible. So I'm gonna let you know when they come out how long I cooked mine. It doesn't take too long. Now what I also like to do is I'm gonna put some butter and a little bit of water in the bottom of my pan and two nice tads of butter right on top of our beautiful lobster. Let's do that right now. If you all haven't seen my video that I did earlier today, I did an amazing video. I did a video for the Parmesan crusted chicken breast and it was so much fun and listen here, it tastes so good. Check that video out, you will absolutely adore it. Okay, that's enough, just enough to kind of steam our beautiful seafood. Our bacon is cooking up just beautifully and our potatoes are doing amazing as well. Get you some butter down here. Just two nice tads of butter, just like so. And then we'll take some butter and we'll put it right here, okay? Since I put such a nice size, I'm only gonna do one on the top. You don't need to cover this, just put it in the oven and you'll know when it's done, okay? 350 degrees, here we come. Okay everyone, while our lobster tails bake in the oven, our potatoes and our bacon cooks on top of the stove, let's go ahead and make our cream sauce for our potatoes. If, Like I said earlier, if you don't wanna use heavy whipping cream, that's fine. But when I make potatoes, I want my potatoes to be nice and rich, okay? Heavy whipping cream or milk going in. Okay, and we're gonna use a nice amount of butter. Okay, nice amount of butter because I like buttery, creamy and rich mashed potatoes. Beautiful, and one more tad of butter, just like so. We're gonna put some parsley flakes in, and we're just gonna heat this up, not long. We're gonna heat this up for around about a minute and a half and just to warm the heavy cream up and warm the milk up. Because when you make potatoes, you never, you never want to use cold milk or cold cream and butter. 
Your potatoes always turn out better when you heat your butter and your cream up. Trust me when I tell you this. All right? So then let's take, let's go over to the stove, take a peek in at our bacon and see if it's time to turn it. Our bacon is doing amazing. It's not time to turn it. Okay, just be patient. It's crazy because when you think loaded stuff, lobster tails, you would think that you would be slaving in the kitchen all day. Nope, not this recipe. You're not going to be slaving in the kitchen all day. This is a quick recipe that is absolutely amazing. Absolutely. And our potatoes are doing just fine with the garlic as well. Our potatoes are cooking up just beautifully. I've taken the bacon out and I'm draining it on a paper towel and we're just gonna crumble it up. Now this here, it's not done. So I'm gonna give it around about 10 more minutes and then we should be ready to go. Okay, everyone, 13 minutes. 13 minutes is all you need for these bad boys to get done in the oven. And you don't wanna go any longer than that because these are gonna go back into the oven and cook a second time so that our cheese can get nice and beautiful and melty on top. So now, here's what you're gonna do. Let's take our beautiful lobster tails and we don't wanna tear them apart, okay? But what you do wanna do is, let me grab a knife, is you wanna take this beautiful meat out of its shell. It's simple, it's easy, it's not hard. Just go in and grab that bad boy. Oh, just like so. Look at that. Oh my word, listen here, and that piece right there. Oh my goodness, like I have to eat it right now. It's all mine. <laughs> oh, mm. oh, 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 oh my goodness. Leave that shell. We're gonna do something amazing with that shell. Grab this other one out, just yank it. Okay, that's simple. Now, here's what we're gonna do. Just set these aside. You wanna take, and we're gonna chop up this beautiful lobster meat. This lobster meat is gonna go back into its shell, and we're gonna load this bad boy. What I want you to think about is how do you like your loaded potato? Because that, uh-huh, uh-huh. That's the trick, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a loaded potato and we're gonna fold this beautiful lobster meat into our loaded potato mixture. And then everything is gonna go back into its beautiful shell. We're gonna top it with the bacon, the cheese and chives and sour cream. And I am showing you all and make, you are in for a treat. You hear me? You are in for a treat. And I cannot wait to sink my teeth down into this recipe. Okay, everyone, now let's make some beautiful rustic garlic potatoes. I'm not gonna use a handheld mixer. I'm not gonna use a stand-up mixer. You want some lumps to be into this. If you want you know, to use a handheld mixer, you can. But I'm just gonna use my masher, just like so. Okay, oh yeah, baby. Yukon gold is the way to go. They're beautiful and they're always nice and fluffy. Okay, and they have a really nice, beautiful, creamy consistency when you make potatoes with them. Sorry about the noise there. Now, we have our cream. If you decide to use milk, that's fine. And our butter. Put you some in there, don't be afraid to use it. Get you some in there. Crack black pepper. Oh yeah. Remember we put parsley in with our cream and butter? If you want more parsley, like I do, put you some more in there, it'll make it nice and beautiful. Absolutely it will. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of sea salt in. And we're gonna put some sour cream. Oh yeah, baby. You cannot, you 
cannot forget the sour cream. Like, what? You can't have a loaded anything without sour cream. Mm, mm, mm. If you wanted to use Philadelphia cream cheese, you better believe you can. I'm just gonna put around about that much. That's beautiful. And then if you want to put some on top as well, you can do that also. Okay? And we're just going to mash just like so. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am so excited. I'm going to give these potatoes a try. And if I'm happy with the taste, we will move on. It's so easy. I'm so excited to make this for my family tonight. Mmm, look at this. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You better make you some. Let's give them a try. Okay, everyone. So I tasted my potatoes. I felt like I needed some more butter, a little tiny bit more salt, and some more cracked black pepper. Okay, so we're going to give it a nice smear, a nice mix. And then I'm going to take out the amount of potatoes that I'm going to use to make our loaded stuffed lobster tails. Because we're not going to use all of this. Because if we were to use all of this, what would happen is your lobster would just get swallowed in all of these beautiful potatoes. So we're just going to use just enough to stuff the two lobster tails. And whatever's left, that's what we're going to have to go with our dinner tomorrow. Okay? Really, it's that simple. I can turn these potatoes into um, potato patties for in the morning. If y'all haven't seen my video for potato patties, check it out. It's amazing. Okay, let's get started. Bring your shell back into the equation. Sometimes your shells will break like this. Don't worry about it, okay? Don't you dare worry about it, all right? Just like this, and we're gonna open it up as much as we can. just like so oh yeah and keep that fan that fan that tail nice and fanned out okay everyone i have the potatoes that we're going to use all right then what we need to do is go ahead and put our lobster meat right into the potatoes up nice and gently just like so and the reason why I say be gentle is because you don't want to break all that beautiful chunk pieces of the lobster up you do want to get it well incorporated into these potatoes my mouth is watering so bad right now <laughs> my goodness I know you all's mouth has to be watering right now like it just has to we're gonna put a little bit of our chives. If you like green onions, use green onions. If you don't want them, don't use them, <laughs> okay? That simple, okay? Let's put us some cheese in, and then we'll put more cheese on top. Oh yeah, baby, mm-hmm. You want bacon? Put you some bacon inside, and then you're gonna put you some bacon on the outside, and we're gonna bake these bad boys. You hear me? Hoo-wee! This right here is some good cooking, you hear me? Put this right down into your shell. Don't be afraid, okay? Don't you dare be afraid. And stuff it. Stuff it in there as if this was the meat hanging out, you know, how we had it originally. Make it look exactly like as if this was lobster meat on top. Pack it in the shell first, okay? And then kind of shape it in this manner. Oh! My goodness, I just tasted it. <laughs> oh my goodness, girl. Girl. I don't know what else to say. Oh my word. Do you hear me? Listen here. There's some good cooking right here. If you all want a good recipe, this is where you're going to find it. You hear me? You better believe you are. Mm -mm. If you all enjoyed this recipe, give me a thumbs up. 
And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Jeannie Young uploads. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know about Jeannie Young and what Jeannie Young is doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. You hear me? Oh, absolutely, my word. Let's finish this off with a little bit of paprika. This is going back in the oven. Okay, here's what we'll do. I'm gonna put that cheese on top, baby. Ooh, don't forget that cheese, you hear me? Mm, just let it flow all over. We can clean up later, right? <laughs> you better believe we can clean up later. Oh, just like this, chives on the top. In the oven we go, 350 degrees until everything gets nice, beautiful, melty, and bubbly. And you have stuffed lobster tails by Gina Young 101. Y'all never had this before, you have to make you some. Put these bad boys in the oven until they get nice and bubbly, and I'll be back. I'll be back. I don't know if y'all can see the geese. We have lots of geese in our backyard right now. Normally they're over by the pond. You all can see the pond a little, little further to the right, but maybe they're smelling those loaded lobster tails. I'm pretty sure they are. <laughs> Look at them, aren't they beautiful? Beautiful they are. Let's bless our meal. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this beautiful meal today. Lord, I thank you for your love time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food and the love that you give us daily. May this food nourish our body, minds, and our souls. Amen. Let's dig in. You all can have the first bite. Like I said earlier, make sure you subscribe. Click on that notification bell. Tell all of your family and friends everything about Gina Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's dig in. You all get the first bite. Which one? Which one? Come over and eat, guys. Come on. Let's go. What are you waiting on? -wee. Let's go in for this one. This one's calling my name. Oh. My goodness, let's see, let's see, you want to taste the everything. You want the chives, you want the cheese, you want the sour cream and the garlic potatoes. You want to taste that beautiful lobster tail, the salt and the pepper. Look at this amazing taste. Taste right now because I'm ready to go. Oh, mm. oh, <laughs> oh, mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm, mm, mm. This right here is one heck of a dish. You can taste the lobster folded into this nice, beautiful, fluffy, buttery potato. This right here is amazing. You have to make this for your loved one, all of your family and friends. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going right in from the top. Oh, oh. <laughs> And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night. I could, I'm sorry, guys, but I got to get off of here. I want to sit down and enjoy this right now. Mm, have a good night, guys.